guys and welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you today. It's actually a collaboration with the company Fashion at the Races. And Fashion at the Races was founded in 2012 by a friend of mine who I went to high school with. Her name is Brie Mott. And she reached out to me to see if I would be open to doing a beauty related post for her blog, for her company blog. So I was obviously thrilled to be asked and I was super excited. So basically this company was founded by Brie because she'd been working with the horses and around the racetracks and she wanted to try and marry her love of dressing up in fashion with this industry that she was already involved with. And she also wanted to try and attract more females to the industry. So um, she founded this company and the company sells hats for the racetrack, Fascinators, and they also style women for the race days, which is really, really neat. So it's an awesome company. And um, like I said, she's the founder of it, which is super cool. And so I thought that um, this video would be all about how to make your makeup and last all day. So when I think about going to a horse race, um, I think about it being hot, maybe humid, and it being sort of like an all day thing. You're out in the sun, you're inside, you're outside. I'm not super familiar. I've only been to one or two in my life, so I'm not super, super familiar with how it works, but I imagine that above all else, you really need your makeup to last and your hair. So what this video is going to be all about is a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to make your makeup last. It's going to be a really basic look that's not super complicated, and all the products I'm going to use are going to be long-wearing products that aren't going to budge when you're at the races. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. This is going to be a talk through because I really want to explain why I'm using certain products. So let's jump in. Okay. So when you think about wanting your makeup to last, there are a couple products that are really, really, really important. And one of those products is primer. So primers are invaluable when you want your makeup to stay in place. I have an eyelid primer from Urban Decay. This is the eyeshadow primer potion. And I have a Jouer primer. This is the anti-blemish matte primer. So when you're thinking about wanting your makeup to last through hot weather and humidity, you really want to go for a matte primer that's going to keep your skin from looking greasy and shiny. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this primer all over my face. And if you're worried about primers breaking you out, this is a really great option because it does have salicylic acid acne treatment in it, so it's not going to cause breakouts, which is definitely a plus. So I'm also going to apply the eyeshadow primer potion to my eyelids. This is a great primer. Not only does it make your eyeshadow stay in place, but it makes the colors more vibrant because it, it creates a really nice base. We really, really want to make sure everything we're doing is going to make our makeup stay put. So I'm also going to add another primer. This is the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer by Benefit and it comes in this little stick and this is actually a sample size so there's a much bigger size but this is, was a sample and I'm going to just place this in the areas where I get the most greasy. So I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and this sets quickly so just make sure to buff it in right after you apply it. Down the bridge of my nose kind of upper lip area and center of the forehead. So what this does is it's just going to add a little bit of extra priming to those high grease areas. So now we're going to jump into eyes and you can start with your skin or you can start with your eyes. It doesn't really matter. I'm not doing heavy eye makeup for this, so I could start with the skin, but I really want to let that primer sink in and dry before I apply any sort of foundation. So to start off with the eyes, I've applied the primer potion, obviously, and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and a light neutral color. So this is my Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay, and really any of these three lighter shades will work. 
And really this is just going to provide a base for the lid and it's and just going to help with creasing and things like that because we're putting down a nice powdery eyeshadow. So I'm going to use Foxy, which is a really, really neutral shade, kind of a yellowish undertone. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to buff that all over the lid. Now, like I said, we're going to keep the eyeshadow pretty basic and quick. So if you're kind of, if you're newer to makeup, this is going to be really, really doable for you. So the next thing I'm going to use is this Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. When you want your makeup to last, it's really important to find shadows that are going to give you the longest wear. And cream shadows, cream waterproof shadows are amazing for this. This product is really, really incredible. It literally does not budge. So this is an awesome option for this type of makeup. This is just a really light sort of rose gold color that looks good on pretty much everyone, pretty much every skin tone. So it's kind of a nice neutral shimmery shadow to use. So all you have to do is use your finger. You can use a brush, but your finger is a little bit easier because it warms up the product. And just apply it all over the lid. Again, you don't want to apply too much because you don't want the product to crease and build up. So it's your preference as to how much you put on. I like to put down one layer and then concentrate a little bit more right at the center of the lid. This helps to really emphasize that upper eyelid and make your eyes look bigger and more awake. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is use a nude colored eyeliner. I'm going to put this along the inner rim and because this is a daytime look I really want bright awake looking eyes. So this is a nice option to open up your eyes and make them just look more healthy. It kind of neutralizes that redness that you get on the inner rim. So if it was a late night the night before or if you're a little bit tired this is really going to help you look fresh. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that along the inner rim. So whenever I apply nude liner to the lower waterline, I always want to balance it out with a little bit of shadow. So you don't have to go crazy with this. It's totally whatever is within your comfort level. But for me, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette. It's just this taupe color right here. And I'm just going to create the tiniest bit of shadow along the lower lash line. And this is just going to help to balance out that light eyeliner. So again, it's nothing too dramatic. It just creates a tiny bit of shadow to open up the eye further. I'm also going to apply a tiny bit of that taupe color just to the crease. Really, really lightly. Nothing dramatic. And I apologize about my eyebrows right now. I'm getting them done this weekend, so... They're a little unruly right now. Now, if you want, you can take a little bit of the lightest shade, any light, ooh, ugh. any light shimmery color will do. This is Venus. If you would like, you can take a tiny bit of that and put it on your tear duct. This further helps to open up and brighten the eye area. Okay, so the eyes are almost complete. But, if you're like me, you want to add a little bit more drama to the upper lash line. So, here is where I'm going to use a liquid liner. This is the Stila, oh my gosh, I've used it so many times, the um, label is like completely worn off. But this is a an all-day eyeliner. It's waterproof and it's really going to stay put. So, a lot of people have different comfort levels as to how they like their liner. I'm going to do a moderate sized wing. Some people like a really dramatic wing, some people like no wing at all. So this is really up to your discretion as to what kind of wing you do. But I'm going to apply this eyeliner to the upper lash line. So now that our liner's 
done. The next thing is mascara. I have just curled my eyelashes off camera. It's really nothing special to see. Everybody knows how to curl their eyelashes. Um, and you want to choose a waterproof mascara. So this one here is the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. Oh, oh. The waterproof version, but really any waterproof mascara will do. You just don't want to worry about your mascara running and smudging, so it's really best to just go for the waterproof route. So I'm just going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. So now that we're all done with the eye makeup, you can totally put on false lashes. If you use duo glue or some high quality glue, your lashes will absolutely stay on all day long. So that is a option if you would like. I'm not gonna put them on right now, but totally go for it if you are into the more dramatic look. For the brows, I'm not gonna do any, anything special with my brows. There are lots of amazing long wearing brow products. One of them is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. That stuff will last all day and all night. So if you are someone that needs to fill in your brows, I would definitely check out that product. But for me, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm just going to set my brows into place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I always say this is like hairspray for your eyebrows. It just keeps them completely in place and they do not budge. Like I said, my eyebrows are crazy right now because I haven't gotten them done in probably like a month. So they're long and they're a little bit messy, which I hate, but I am getting them done this weekend. So that part of the face is done, so now we are going to move to the skin. So this really is where your personal preference comes into play. So normally I would probably use more of a full coverage foundation, but because you're going to be outside, I really wanted to choose something a little bit lighter and something that's not gonna get cakey on you. So what I chose to use today is the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, BB Cream. This is great because it's light, but it also provides a little bit of coverage and it has SPF 20, so you don't have to worry about adding an extra sunscreen. There are a lot of people that probably need additional coverage on top of this, and that's totally fine. If you are somebody that needs more full coverage, I would just make sure to steer for a foundation that boasts long wear, that's matte, and that's going to stay in place. There are a lot of drug, great drugstore foundations that have these qualities. There are also great high-end um, foundations that have those qualities, but today I'm just going to use a nice light BB cream. This is going to keep your skin look, looking really natural and fresh, but it's going to even out your skin tone. So what I'm going to do is apply a bunch of this to the back of my hand, and I also like this right now because I went on vacation to Florida in February, and I have a teeny bit of a tan hanging on, whoa, and this um, BB cream is actually a little bit darker than some of my others, so I'm going to take a foundation brush because I want to get a lot of coverage out of this BB cream and I found that the I find that these kind of paddle type brushes provide a lot of coverage. So, I'm just going to start buffing that into the skin. Okay, so like I said, this is very natural coverage, but it melts right into your skin and it's not going to look like you have a face full of makeup on. So this is an awesome option for an all-day makeup look. So next I'm going to move on to concealer, and what I'm going to use is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is like a holy grail product by MAC. I haven't used it that many times. Actually, I think I've only used it once, and I think it is a little bit light for me right now. So just bear that in mind that it might be a little bit light. But this product really is supposed to last you all day and it's supposed to not settle into your fine lines and just be an all around amazing product. So I'm going to use this with my beauty blender around the eyes and maybe a little bit on some blemishes that the BB cream did not cover up. Alright, 
So now I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with this MAC Shaping Powder. This is in, what color is this? Oh, this is in the color Emphasize. So this is a great powder. It's just a little pan. I'm just going to use a little bit of that to set the concealer just so it doesn't crease and move around. Okay, so now we're going to move right on to blush, and I'm going to use this L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush. This is in the color Soft Peach, and I'm using a cream blush because it's going to melt really nicely into the skin, and it's not going to budge on you if you want long-wearing makeup. So all you do for this is take a little bit on your finger and tap it into your cheeks, and then you're going to quickly buff it in. I'm just going to add a little bit of mattifying powder. This is just the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I'm going to apply that to the areas that get the most oily. So it's going to be the center of the forehead, the nose, upper lip, and chin. Okay, so we're almost there. It's just time for a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. Whoops. And I'm just going to I'm going to use my Becca, the one brush, I'm not sure, sure exactly what it's called, but I'm just going to shape the face a little bit by putting this around the perimeter. Okay, I promise we're almost done. For an extra sort of insurance policy, feel free to use any loose powder. This is the ID Mineral, Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals and a powder puff and just take a little bit of that and put it wherever you want your makeup to set. So what this really is is just an additional insurance policy for your skin. let that set for a couple minutes or a couple seconds and then just brush it right off. Okay guys, so the skin is complete. The last thing we have to tackle is the lips. Now, for the lips, you want to use a super long wearing product, and the best option for that is any kind of permanent liquid lipstick. So this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I chose a really, really bright, fun color because it just seems like there are a lot of amazing colors in the hats and the clothing that people wear at the races, so I wanted to tie that in and use a nice bright pink. I'm also going to use this Makeup Forever Lip Line Perfector. And this is a clear wax product that's just going to help your um, lipstick from smudging outside of the line of your natural lip. So I'm going to start off by applying this all around. Okay, so once you have that on, and again, that's completely optional. A lot of people don't have that product. It's kind of like... I don't know, not a product everybody has sitting in their makeup collection, but if you do, you can throw it on. Now, if you don't have a liquid lipstick like this, you can use the technique of um, filling your entire lip in with eyeliner, or not eyeliner, <laughs> filling your entire lip in with lip liner and then going over it with a lipstick in a similar color. So that's really going to help it solidify to your lips and stay on a lot longer. You can also just take a little bit of your mattifying powder and just brush it over your lips prior to applying any lipstick and that's just going to make for a easier base for your lipstick to go on. But in this case I'm going to use this and what I love about these liquid lipsticks is that you can kind of shape your lips without using a lip liner because they're so pigmented you can go a little bit outside your natural lip line to make for a bigger looking lip which I always do. But 
this completes the look guys. I really hope you liked it. All the products I used are really aimed at long wearing makeup that's not going to smudge, it's not going to crease, and it's not going to cake up on you during hot long days. So please stay tuned for my next video collab with Fashion at the Races when I show you how to do a easy all day stay put low updo in your hair. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. Thanks!